So this is tutorial three, and um, what I'm going to show you how to do in this is how to insert images. Before you do this, though, you need to have watched tutorial one and tutorial two. Um, in tutorial one, I'll show you how to lay out the basic structure of an actual web page, and in tutorial two, I explain what H1, HR, and P all do. So in order to get an image into your web page, you need to upload it into the Trinket repository. Before you can do that, you need it on your computer. Before you even get it onto your computer, you need to go and find one. As I told you before, I'm, I'm making a web page about unicorns. So I've gone to Google Images and I then went to the web page associated with this. So all I did there was I found an image and I opened link in new tab. And most of the time you can find the image that's on Google. Sometimes they get removed by this stage. I'm just going to right click on this and I save image as and it goes into downloads which I've already saved it to there don't need to save it anywhere particular okay and then we go back to the trinket website so if we click on this little icon here view and add images it allows us to add things to our repository so I click select images just choose the original one again and now I've got unicorn wallpaper for my desktop okay I want to now create some HTML code that will let me display that on the actual page. So I go click on index.html and I'm going to write something called img. So we've got the uh, triangular open tag so command img goes after it. And it would be simple if we just did that. Now we're going to have to learn something called attributes. So we've got two attributes that go with the image HTML tag or the image type tag. The first one is source, which is src. We put equals after it and we put speech marks. So in between the two speech marks, we're going to put the source of the image we're looking for, which is in your repository. And all you need to do is just make sure you've copied just the text underneath it, not the Im image there as well. So we click on here. So I've gone to the repository there and I've copied this text. And then go back to my page and I press Control and V in between the two speech marks. And you can see, look, it's appeared there. It's really big though, really big. So just after the speech marks, we put a space and we're going to have another little what we call attribute, which is the width attribute. And we type width equals and a certain number of pixels, so 300. Well, you don't need to write pixels, you just not write 300 or 200. And you notice the height will scale in line with the width. If we put 400, it's getting bigger. 500, even bigger. I'll go back down to 400. And so... I'm going to put the triangular brackets after the speech marks there. So that's the entire image tag. You've got IMG to tell us that this is an image. SRC, SRC standing for source. And we've given the full name of that file, including JPEG or PNG at the end or GIF, whichever ones you've got. And then there's another attribute, width equals 400 for 400 pixels, 400 little dots of color wide. Um, just to note, between this is uh, an attribute, obviously, which is width. This is also an attribute, which is the source attribute. They need to, each attribute needs to be separated with spaces. You will be using more of them in the future. So that's how to add an image into a web page. And just remember to save it.